In the early 1900s, Ed Partridge took on the grain exchange to help farmers get better prices for their crops. Partridge was an influential man in Manitoba, even with the tragedies that followed him throughout his life. Here's a segment from Prairie Public's documentary series, Built on Agriculture. Few individuals have had as significant an impact on prairie history as Edward Alexander Partridge. He was six foot tall with blue eyes that flashed when he talked and hands that were constantly in motion. He was a dreamer, an idea man. When he talked, people listened. He believed that farmers should and could have more control over their destiny if they united. It was a child of the Territorial Grain Growers Association, and more specifically, a child of Ed Partridge, who was very much a moving spirit behind both the formation of the Territorial Grain Growers Association, and then subsequently a moving spirit behind the creation of the Grain Growers Grain Company. He and a small group in Sintaluta started the Territorial Association, but Partridge had bigger plans and a larger vision and he wanted to set up a cooperative grain handling and marketing company as well. In 1906, Partridge saw part of his dream come alive, but his continued butting of heads with the grain exchange led to the Grain Growers Grain Company losing trading privileges at the grain exchange. Largely a matter of belligerence on both the part of Ed Partridge, who hated the exchange, and on the part of the exchange, who wasn't that happy with him, Partridge was fond of calling the Winnipeg Grain Exchange a combine with gambling hell thrown in. The exchange also wanted Partridge out, no question. And so the company replaced uh, Partridge as the official member with another person in the, in the company. Ed Partridge did not disappear. He became editor of the company's monthly journal, The Grain Grower's Guide, often contributing fiery articles of his own he authored the Partridge Plan that called for public ownership of grain elevators and advocated a nationwide overhaul of the grain business. Because Ed Partridge was, was a moving spirit behind the territorial grain growers and was a moving spirit behind the Grain Growers Grain Company. But his history after that is rather interesting because he stayed on the board of directors of the Grain Growers Grain Company until 1912. And then he had a falling out Tragedy was part of Partridge's life. He lost a leg in a farming accident, one of his daughters drowned, his wife died of a heart attack, and he lost two sons in the First World War. When Partridge left, he tried to start up another grain company and it failed. And then he became an activist and then he wrote a book called Poverty and was active in some very left-wing organizations and then sort of just disappeared out to the West Coast, lived with his daughter, and then he just disappeared. So that happens with radicals. Farmer, teacher, businessman, agrarian radical, Ed Partridge died of asphyxiation in 1931 at the age of 69, alone in a boarding house in Victoria, British Columbia. His only income for a number of years was a monthly stipend of $75 from the United Grain Growers. Prairie Mosaic is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4, 2008. The North Dakota Council on the Arts and by the members of Prairie Public.